Hello, my name is Austin Noll. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit in Adobe Premiere from start to finish, importing your footage and exporting a movie. Let's get started. Okay, so hopping into it, the first thing I'd recommend that you do is make a folder structure for the project that you're going to be working on. So for me, that's, I have a tutorials folder and inside there, you're going to make a folder named your project. So for me, that's Adobe Premiere 101, like basics. And inside there, you're going to have a folder for everything you're going to be doing inside that project. So for me, I use 3ds Max, After Effects, Buju, Camtasia, um, Adobe Premiere, which is what you'll be using. So you'll probably only need an Adobe Premiere folder, and a footage folder, an exported folder, and an audio folder. Now what I've done with an audio folder is I've gone in here and you add, uh, this is Adobe Audition if you use that, but any music you'll be using in your project, any sound effects, and any voiceover. And what I've done is I've gone out and grabbed some footage, and so I bring my footage in here, and I name it the camera that I used and the date I recorded it on. And so you go in there, and then you have the clips that you have. So everything you're going to be using inside of this project will be in these folders right here. So whenever you move your main folder, whether you have to move it from your desktop or to another hard drive or even to send it to someone else, everything will still be linked up and you won't have any missing media. So we're going to start up Adobe Premiere right now. And the first thing it's going to do is prompt you with new project, open project, or help. So you're going to start a new project, and you're going to browse and navigate to your folder. So for me, that was tutorials, W Premiere, and you're going to save this in your W Premiere folder. So any media files and preview files it saves will all be saved in this folder. You're going to name your project. So now here's where you're going to choose the format of what you're going to be working in. So this is where you're going to need to know how many frames per second your footage is and what the height and width of your footage is. So I shot these on my DSLR at 24 frames a second. So you have digital DSLR, so DSLR, and 1080, 24 frames a second. So this is what I'm going to use. You might have used... Uh, maybe an iPhone. An iPhone 6 will shoot 1080p, 1080p at 30 frames a second. So this will still work because it has the same frames per second and the height and width. So I'm going to check 24. And then you can name your sequence, whatever you want, but generally sequence one is okay. So now inside Adobe Premiere, you have all these panels all over that probably look pretty confusing. So right here, this is your project tab and so inside here is any media you're going to be bringing in whether it's video pictures or your sequence which is this timeline right here and what you're going to do is you're going to import all of your footage and your media and you'll start to begin and work inside of your sequence this over here is your program this will display any media that is playing through in your sequence down here this is the effect controls panel so anytime you select a clip you will add effects up here to that clip and edit those. This is a source tab, which means if you're not going to bring your media into your sequence, you can preview it by double clicking over here and it will show up right here without having to take it into your sequence. So that's a little general overview of what the panels you'll mainly be working with. So now I'm going to start bringing in my media. You can go over here, navigate to it, bring my folder and drag it right on in. Okay, so now I have all my media, which well, I have all my footage, and if you double click right here, it shows up in your source, and you can get a preview of what it's going to look like. So now, I'm also going to bring in some music, which is my audio, bring in the music folder, drag that in, and sound effects, drag sound effects in. And so now, you have a button down here, it's called New Bin. A bin inside Adobe Premiere is basically a folder, just like your folder you see here that you can drop down and has uh, media in it. So I'm going to make a new folder, and just to make keep things clean, I'm going to name this footage, and drag my footage into here in case I have more footage from more than one camera. You can close that, and I'm also going to make a new bin, new folder 
and call it sequences. In case I have more than one sequence, and I'll just drag that in there. So now everything stays organized and you won't have a huge list of just media that only has names and numbers without being able to identify what each one is. So now we're going to start just pulling our footage into our timeline and getting it down here to be able to start editing it. So I'm going to go through and just start clicking the first one and that will pop up right here and I'll kind of look through and see kind of look through and see what I want to keep out of it. As you can see right here, when I first start recording, it's all shaking and jittery as I'm starting to frame it up. So what you can do is click this button right here, and this designates when the footage will start playing. You can keep dragging it through. Notice how all this turned green. Everything before this is not green. So you drag it through. And I think I want that to be the very end. So you click this end. So now you can either drag just by clicking this clip right here and dragging it into your timeline, or you can drag it from your media files over here, your project tab, and drag it in, and it's the same thing. So it's already going to be cut up at the in and out points that you already designated. And so now, I'm just going to turn this audio off. Over here you have its eyeballs for visuals, so you turn that on and off. it will just turn this whole entire track off. And the same thing, this is how to turn the audio, the whole entire audio track off. So I'm going to leave that off so I don't hear audio playing through. Because I know I'm going to replace it with music later. So now if I just hit play over here, this is the window you want to be watching. You can see what the clip looks like. Okay. So an alternative method, instead of cutting it up in here before you pull it into a sequence, you can just pull the, we'll start new, use the next clip. We'll drag this whole clip into here, and you notice it's significantly longer. And see, I have all the shakiness in the very beginning that you don't want to keep. So you just scrub through. This is your little scrubber. Wherever this red line is at is where, is what's showing you where you're at in your time of your video. So I'm just going to drag this through, and I think I want to start right there. So if your mouse is white, you can drag and move the video around. If it turns red and you get this red line cursor, this will let you trim it. So if you click and drag, you're going to be cutting all of this up. And so now you have a video that starts where you want it to start. So I hit play over here. It's playing on through. And I think I want it to cut right there. So I'll do the same thing. I'll go to the very end of it. Click the red. Get the red cursor shown up. And drag that over until it snaps to the line. Now if your clips aren't snapping where your cursor is going, depending on where you put your cursor and they're not snapping straight to it, make sure you have this button clicked. This is the snap button. It's, it looks like a little magnet. If that's clicked, then your clips should be snapping to wherever you have your cursor. Okay. So now, the only problem is if you hit play at the end of this clip, which also if you hit spacebar, we'll do it'll preview it for you. You get all this black. And what that is is all the space in between these two clips, there's no media there. So it's just going to play pure black. That's so what you just do is drag your clip, make sure your cursor is white and drag it over and it'll snap to the very end of that previous clip. So now you have two clips butted up next to each other and if you hit play, they cut. So now you have two clips that you've cut from beginning to end and now they transition between both of them. So an alternative thing that you can also do and if you don't want a harsh cut because they are just cutting back and forth is you can add a transition and Adobe Premiere has built-in transitions that you can choose from. So if you go up here where you have your project tab and go over to effects. Now in effects you have presets, audio effects, audio transitions, video effects, and video transitions. So you can go through and click through video transitions and find one that you like. You'll have to play around with all of them to find one that you prefer. One that's pretty general is in dissolve and you can do a dip to black which will make a fade in. Now how you apply these is you click on it, 
and you drag it over. Now these transition effects affect the beginning or end of a clip. So you're only able to drag them here. I'm holding my mouse down right now because I'm still holding on to it. You want to click it to and put it on the front, the front right here, or the back, or you can bridge two clips with it. So if I let go and we hit play, it's going to fade to black and then fade in on the next clip. So that's a transition that you can add, and if you go through, there's plenty of other ones. So if you just click on that, and let's say that you want a longer transition, this scroller bar down here is how you scrub through your whole entire timeline. Now, timelines will go on endlessly. You don't have to type in a set time for how long you want them to be. They will just infinitely keep going. The more media you add, the longer they'll keep getting. So what you can do to get real fine-tuned, you can either zoom out. If you have a bunch of media, you just click this and drag it in and you can zoom in to get more fine-tuned cuts. So if I click on, you see how it's pink? And you click on the transition, it'll change to a darker green. And go to effects controls, now you have control of how long the transition will last. And here's the duration right here, it has one second, six frames. And so what you can do, if you want a little faster transition, you can just bring that down. Bring the number down. So now it's only gonna last 15 frames. So you drag your cursor right here, and hit play, you have a faster transition. Okay? And now if you don't want to have that transition, let's say you decided you don't like how the dip to black looks, you click, make sure you click on it, you hit the delete key, it's gone now. So now you're back to a cut that goes back and forth. Just goes straight from one frame to the next clip. And then you're gonna go and try out different effects on that, a different transition. So here's an additive dissolve. You drop that on there. Same thing, you can either drop on the front of a clip, or the back of a clip, or to bridge two clips. So now if we watch this, hit play. So now it did an additive dissolve. So now it's more of a stylized dissolve, that transition. Instead of going to black, it's, it has a more stylized look to it. And just like the dip to black, if you click on it, you can change the duration of how long it takes to transition, just by bringing those numbers down. If you don't, if this is too hard to click and drag, you can just click on it and type in how many frames you want. Let's say I want 20 frames, and click off of it, and now you have 20 frame transition. So now what I'm going to do is drag this out so I have a clearer view of my timeline. Go to Project tab, and I'm going to start dragging in another clip. Double click on it, and now you can preview it and just drag this slider through. From here to about here. So now I'm going to take that clip, drop it into my timeline, and then you can just drag the clip, butter it up against the previous clip, take your cursor, and then hit play and watch how it transitions. And I think I'll add a dip to that, dip to white, just to transition both those. So hit play preview it. I think the transition went too slow, so I'm going to click on the transition, go to effects controls, and I'm going to shorten it up a bit. Okay, bring your cursor back over here, and hit play. Okay, I think it was a lot faster. So now I'm just going to go through and start doing this continuously to my clips. Okay, at this point I have all my clips inside my timeline. And let's say you want to change and cut one up. That's, let's say it's in the middle, somewhere in the middle where you have a transition on both ends of it. And a workaround for that, instead of trying to trim this up and cut it down and messing up the transition, you can go over here, you have these other tools that you can use for your cursor. So this is a selection tool. So anytime you see the arrow, we're using the selection tool. There's another tool in here called the razor tool. When you click on that, anywhere you click on these videos, it will turn it into two videos. So let's say I want to click right here. So now, if you go back to your cursor tool, make sure you switch back and forth between the tools or else you'll, if you try to 
click and drag a clip, all you'll do is start cutting it up, and that's what you don't want. So if you do, just edit, undo, edit, undo, and one more time. Okay. So now I have this clip that's been cut into two now. And let's say there's a section of it I just didn't want it in there. So now you go back to your cursor, make your cursor turn red, click and drag, and now you have a shortened up clip on this end of it. And so what you can do is just click the empty space in between, and if you hit delete, it'll bring those two clips together. So now if you play it through, you have a cut inside the video. So that's a little helpful tip so you don't have to go through and redo a bunch of work that you've already spent time working on. Okay, so now we're at the point where we have a whole entire edit put together. We know we're not going to do any more cutting. We're not going to do any more trimming. It's This is what the edit's going to look like.